Hello, once again, my name is Brother McGill, and I'm back with another lesson of encouraging words from the Bible. That is encouraging words from the Bible, how we're supposed to live, especially in the last days. But before I begin, I, uh, I'd like to say for the people in Ukraine and what they're going through right now, it is so terrible and shocking, that is terrible for uh, how can a person, you know, uh, I'm sorry, people can really lay down, look at themselves in the mirror, or go to sleep at night, know they are slaughtering innocent kids and innocent people. I'm sorry, people do that. I really don't, but that's where this world we live in. So a prayer that goes out to the Ukrainian people. And before I begin, uh, once again, I'd like to say thank you for everything. Those who grew in, those who uh, come to hear the word of God on uh, YouTube, those who really believe and trust it in the Word of God, stay strong in the Word of God. Never give up on your eternal soul. Never give up. Let's open up in the Word of Prayer before we begin. Heavenly Father, Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, we come to you once again, dear Lord. Thank you for so many things that you do for us and so many blessings that you bestowed upon us. We thank you for all the love, the mercy, and the long suffering that you have for us. And we pray, dear Lord, that you keep helping us to grow in your divine, holy word, all true worshipers, true believers, before everlasting too late. And for those who don't know you, may they come to know you, dear Lord, before everlasting too late as well. We thank you for all the things that you do for us, dear Lord, whether, whether it's good things happen to us or bad things happen to us, Father God. We thank you for so much that you have done for us. Amen. And we pray you keep helping us to grow, never give up, dear Lord. Our eternal soul never give up. Cause this is we're gonna die one day. We're gonna mm -hmm. die one day. So, yes. so we gotta make sure that we do all the things that you have us to do. Obeying the gospel. That's believing in you. By obeying the gospel, that is believing in you. Mm -hmm. Help us to understand that, dear Lord. Help us to stay focused. And for those who want to come, you want to hear the truth, dear Lord. You know their hearts, dear Lord. What's on their minds and heart. We pray they come to you for it once again before it's too late. And we pray all these prayers to you, dear Lord, your most divine holy name. Thank you for everything. Amen. 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 Once again, this is a encouraging word from the Bible. And before we start, I like to say it's not me saying this, it's just the word of God saying this. You know, right? because when people hear the truth, some people hear the truth, they get upset and get mad. But this is the word of God, but the word of God said, I'm just here. Speaking the word of God and try to help you understand what the word of God means. So, by me saying that, turn to me to, uh, if you can't see the book, I know it's, it's kind of a, kind of far back. It's a, uh, well, I would say the scriptures, so get a pen or a pencil and you can write it down, the scripture. And I will say it loudly so you can hear it. It's Ephesians chapter 4, 17 to 32. That is Ephesians chapter 4, 17 the 32. How to live the last days. How to live the last day. That is Ephesians chapter uh, 4, 17 to 32. And you might read that for me because I'm doing a lot of stopping. So you might read okay. it for me so I can have uh, uh, everyone understand what it really means. Mm -hmm. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye hence forth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Don't walk, excuse me, for say, don't walk in the vanity of your mind, you know, with pride. I'm not aware well, not with pride, because that's not, really not saying that, but the vanity of your mind, like, like your, your own achievement, the things that you did out here, uh, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. You're walking in the vanity of your own mind. So you can't you can't you can't walk out here like that like it's all about me. Mm -hmm. You can't walk like that. That's a vanity in your own mind. Mm -hmm. you keep on reading for it, please. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Who being past? Hold on a second, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, cause most of the prayer girl probably will stop you. Uh, how they understand the darkened? That means they they understand it is darkened by the word of God. They don't understand what the word of God is saying. That's what they're saying. They understand it is darkened. 
They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to have understand the truth. They don't believe the truth. Because they, they got the vanity of their own mind and they understand it is darkening. They don't they don't understand they don't understand the word of God. Read it said uh being alienated for the life of God. You being alienated for the life of God. That means you go to what? Hell. How you what? You in darkness. Uh, through the ignorance that is in them, they ignorant because they don't know. Ignorant because they don't know the ignorance that is in them. For the what? Because of the blindness of their heart, <laughs> they don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. You try to tell somebody the truth. You try to uh, help somebody out, help them understand. They don't want to hear. Listen, uh, we got to go out. We got to go out here. You got to go out here and show God that you love Him, care for Him. Stay in the Word of God. That means obey the gospel. That stay in the Word of God and obey it. And you got to go out here to help others out here who are struggling in their faith. You know what? Right? You can't go out here and say, "Well, okay, faith without works are dead." They would say in the Book of James. Faith without works are dead. You gotta go out here and show God. You know what? Right? Show your, I've uh, show like how I say. I, I, uh, the Book of James said, "I can show you my faith by the works that I do." I can show you my faith by the works that I do. That is go out here not doing nothing. You go out here. You go out here. You trying. You trying. Go out here. We come to the Lord. But see, if your, if your, uh, if your, uh, how I say. Your understanding is uh, is darkened because you ain't doing nothing. Faith without works or dead. Can you please read that for me, please? Okay, keep on reading for me, please. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. That means lasciviousness means wantonness. You know, like lustfulness, you know, like you work yourself on this <laughs> with greediness, you know, like materialistic. Oh, I gotta have this, I gotta have this, I gotta have this. Or I, I want this, you know, like, I want this, I want this, I want that. With the silliness, you know, like wantonness and lust. And you got greediness about everything in your life. It's greedy. I think so I keep I, I keep on reading for you. Verse 20. But ye have not so learned Christ. Now, so learn Christ, and so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. What's the truth at? In Jesus. It's in Jesus. And Gospel John 17, that's Gospel John 17, 17, tells us the word is the truth. Mm. So what is the truth that is in Jesus? Now, I'm in the word, I'm in Jesus. If I won't ban him, the truth is in Jesus. So before you go out here and say, you don't know, this, uh, this ain't enough on me to do this, ain't enough on me to do this, ain't enough on me to do this. Well, you don't know God. So how do you know? Because sin is deceitful. How would you know? That is, how we know? Because sin is deceitful. So you don't say it's not wrong by doing this. Because the truth is in Jesus. Know the word of God. That you might, I know back then. I just say to myself, oh, this ain't nothing wrong with me doing this, nothing wrong with this, ain't nothing wrong with this. I try to get into the Word. Oh, man, I cannot believe this is sinful. Because I didn't know. And why the truth is in Jesus. That's Gospel John 17, 17. Let's keep on reading. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, it said, if so be that you have heard of Christ and have been taught by Christ, the truth is in Jesus, verse 22, that he put off concerning the former conversation, old man, which is corrupt according to the seeping, seeping lust. That's why I tell everybody, true to myself, watch who you hang around with, who you talk to. Everybody is not your friend. People out here talking nasty, corruption like that, you're going to join in right with them. As soon as you get around somebody, you probably fall in God. You, that's not a true believer in God. You probably fall in God. But as soon as you get around somebody, you lose, you lose control. I lost control, right? I'm talking nasty. I'm saying this. I'm saying this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You're not following God. I don't think, like the Bible said, Book of James, don't think don't, you wave at you down. Don't think you'll receive anything from God. Anything. Because you are, you are not being faithful to God. Put out the old man. So when you come around somebody, you know how to carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you doing it, that means I'm going to do that. Because I know how to carry myself. So why? 
You hear the word of God. And God is in you. But if you don't know how to carry yourself, when you get around somebody else, you got to ask yourself a question. God, is God in me? Because <laughs> I don't know how to carry myself. I get around somebody, I think, it's, I, I think I can do what I want to do. Evidently, you ain't following God. And you don't know God. By his word, you don't know God. And you are not doing what God had told you to do. And don't think, like the Bible said, I don't say this. The book of James tells us this. You waver and you done doubting, don't think you will receive anything from the Lord, because you won't. Watch this. Verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Think for a second. Be renewed. That means a changed person in the spirit of your mind. Right here. Uh, Gospel of John, chapter 6, 62 through 63. That's Gospel John, chapter 6, 62 to 63. G. Christ said, The words I speak to you are spirit and they are life. That's the spirit. Be new in the spirit of your mind. These words right here are spirit and they are life, eternal life. That's how you be renewed in the spirit of your mind. No other way. <laughs> you, you know, I sometimes wonder why the people just go to church. And no wrong, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. And no wrong going to church, but people go to church. Because I just came from church. And people go to church, but yet it's still though. They go to church and they say, without being renewed in the spirit of their mind. Soon they get out of church, like I used to do it, used to do back in the day, years ago. I'm back on the street doing the exact same thing. But then I go to church, I, I'm holding it in the dial. Why, get, why go to church that Sunday? I'm not saying not to go to church, don't get me wrong. You want to go to church, you want to stay in prayer. Make sure they teach you the gospel. But this has to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. It's gospel of John 6, 62 and 63. Jesus Christ says this. The words that I speak to you are spirit. And they are light. That's how you have a spiritual mind. Keep on reading. Verse 24. And that you put on the new man which after God is created in all righteousness and true uh, holiness. You put on a new man who created a God and true holiness. Why? You got to put on God. You put on God. You change your man. Put on the new man. The old man is done away. Remember, it, it says, uh, I think it's, uh, it's 2 Corinthians 5, 7, I can't, I'm not mistaken. It says, be, uh, anyone will be in Christ. How? Because the truth is in Jesus. Behold, he is a new creature. Old things are what? Pass away. Behold, all things become new. <laughs> if you're in Christ, how? Well, the truth is in Jesus. That's how you're a new creature. In his word. But that's if you're obeying it. Not just reading it, but you're obeying it. Let's keep on reading. Verse 25. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking, every man, truth with his neighbors, for we are members one to another. What's that again? Wherefore, putting away lying, speak, every man, truth with his neighbor, for we are members one to another. Put away all that lying stuff. Put away. We all have lying. We all put away. I mean, you sit right there and you talk to the person and you know you're lying to them. The dead smack in a person's face. Well, guess me, I don't get, I don't understand how uh, a grown person tell their kids not to lie to them. But do they, do, as soon as they turn around, they get somebody else's face and lie to them. I don't understand that. How can a grown person tell his kid not to lie to nobody? Don't, don't be a liar. Don't be lying to the people. But then, so you get around somebody else, you lie. That don't make sense at all. But that's what type of world that we live in. Put out the what? The old person. Put out what? The new. The new person. The new. Who created in who? God. God. Not cre still created in who? Satan no more. You created in God. Keep on reading. Verse 26. Be ye angry. And said not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. 
The book of Mark tells you that Jesus Christ looked upon uh, the people who were angry. Be angry. But sin not. It took me a long time. Sometimes I still, I sometimes, hey, I'm, I'm being honest. Sometimes, sometimes I, still, I get mad and get upset. But I've been back today. I, I know how I was. You see, I didn't care. Get angry, but I just sit. I didn't care. I'm mad. I'm angry, whatever. I'm sinning. If I'm mad at work, I'm mad at home, whatever. I am going out here sinning. I don't care. I've been there. But now, get angry, but sin not. Being truthful, try to help everyone out there. Look at these videos to understand the truth. You get angry, but you sin not. Now I get angry. I'm going here and say, I know now. Because why I follow God. Oh, I get angry. I don't get mad. You know what? I don't get angry. I don't get angry. I don't get mad. I'm going out here and get drunk. I'm going out here to a club. I don't care. Be in there. But now you get angry. You sin not. That stuff don't, that stuff don't even faze me no more. You know, like, you get angry. You sin not. Because why you follow in Christ. Do you still have things to work on in your life? Yes. Do you still get angry? Yes. But you in the word of God. You don't hang with everybody out here who call themselves believers in Christ, right? Or you do can pray for them, right? Because some people out here are deceitful and try to bring you down to their standards. Trust me. And if you are a father God by his word, I promise you, you know who those people are. And I promise you that. You ain't judging them. If God is going to reveal it through, through his word, he can reveal that to you. I promise you that. All you can do is pray for people like that who are not following God. And nothing else you can do. You know what? Try to teach them the gospel. They don't want to hear it. You know what? Move on. Somebody who want to hear the truth. But you got to carry yourself. It's a certain way, too. You got to carry yourself. It's a certain way, too, out here. You just can't walk out here and do what you want to do. You got to carry yourself a certain way out here. Verse, uh, especially when you follow in God, because one day you're going to die. We all going to die. You better stand in front of Him. And you're going to wish, if you have it, you're going to wish you carry yourself a certain way. Ask God if you have it. And God is going to tell you, hey, well, welcome to Satan and Satan and his angels for eternity, or He's going to turn to life. Verse, 20, uh, verse 27. Need to give place to the devil. Don't let Satan know what gets you upset, gets you mad. And then when you do get upset, get angry, get mad, take it with patience. Take it with patience. Don't let Satan know what gets you upset and mad. He's going to keep on coming at you with the exact same thing. Trust me on that. Verse 28. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with hands, his hands, excuse me, the thing which is good that he may have to give to them that need it. I know a lot of people out here on the streets who are out here on the streets and this line to get money out of your pocket, bang for money. But then you have people out here who really need help, which is sad, because people out here, the people out, like this, people, people, you don't really want like you want to help nobody out here. Tell what people out here doing. But if you really believe in God, like I do, you're going to feed people and you're going to help people out. You ain't going to worry about what they try to get over or not. The God, most, nine times out of ten, God will show you that person you really need help. You're going to feed people, you're going to help people, you're going to try to help people best you can. I promise you that. Because I do. I don't, like, I don't tell you what I do, but I do. And I, and I boast not in myself, I boast. And God, and not myself, and what He have done for me, He had turned me from darkness, gave me turned me from darkness to light. And why would I not go out and try to help somebody else out, and try to do the exact same way, and try to bring them out, bring them out of that darkness, and bring them to the light of God, the glory of the gospel of Christ? Why would I not? Because I was in darkness before. Any questions with that so far? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, verse twenty nine. Let no corrupt communication, excuse me, proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. But let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. 
That's why you gotta make sure you wash out who you are hanging with. I don't care. You gotta make sure. I don't care if that's your uh, if it's that's your household, your jobs, whatever. You gotta make sure. Now, I remember back in the days. I know I was back in the day. I was corrupt communication by my mouth in a heartbeat at work. You know, right? They talking nasty. I'm talking nasty too. Right on with them. Right on with them. Until I got to the word of God. And the word of God, like I said, the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it is quick and powerful than any two-edged sword. Okay, every day those same guys that come in there, I should talk, talk uh, corrupt communication out of my mouth. They should come in there and see why I'm always reading that word. And boy, I tell you, you should see the frown on their face. I mean, man, they like this purity hatred. They face. They knew how to deal with they did talk to you, know how to come to you. You know how to talk to you. They talk all that crazy stuff no more. Because this, the word of God, and that is the truth. And then when they, and then like I can say again, I, I ain't go out and when I got a word, I ain't sure about talking like that. Now, if I'm going to read the Bible, and I'm still talking like that, they have diddy, I am not, I'm, all that I'm doing is lying to myself. And God knows my heart anyway. He knows your heart. He you knows everybody's heart. I'm just lying to myself. Hmm. Real talk. That is real talk. Verse, uh, uh, a message of grace to the hearers. What's grace? Acts chapter 20, 28. Acts chapter 20, verses 28 through 32. That is Acts chapter 20, 28 through 32 tells us it's the word of his grace. How can I miss a grace? I miss a what? His word. That's his grace. That is Acts chapter 20, 28 through 32. It's the word of his grace. And that's how I minister grace to the hearers. Well, I minister the word to them. Talk to them. Try to help them. Verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby we are sealed unto the day of redemption. That all bitterness and wrath and anger and claim more. Am I saying that right? Clamor. Clamor. And evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. What it say? It say you right there. Mm. Put that stuff away. Which you, you are, you are following Christ now. Mm -hmm. You don't keep on. I, I, I know I, I'm not. I sound like a broken record, but this is why you gotta watch out who you hang with, who you talk to. Everybody not your friend, cause you talk that way. I mean, I'm gonna be doing it. Mm -hmm. But some people can't do that because why they're not really actually following God they just follow they follow this world and people like that are deceitful when you talk to deceitful try to bring you down to their level haters they don't want to see you do the right thing follow God do the right they don't see that so what they go do they go disguise themselves deceitfulness of sin you know right they got Satan in them they try to bring you down been there and done it and know about it trust me they try to bring you down, but once you stand strong, hey God, and show people through His, show people that this I follow God, follow God only. I'll do all that other stuff. They will leave you alone. Mm -hmm. They will leave you alone. They find somebody else who they can get, who got who is simple minded, who is weak, who, who, who say they believe in God, and try to bring down. But if you're a true believer in God, you stand strong. All you gotta do is stand strong. That's all you have to do is stand strong by the word of God. Verse 32. And be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Mm -hmm. Trust me. I know that's hard. Because a lot of people out here, you try to help out, they do you wrong. I'm like, <laughs> man. You know, it makes you mad, you know what I mean? It really makes you mad. But you know what? You forgive that person. Mm -hmm. You might not keep on doing the exact same thing, but you forgive that person. Because you want Christ to forgive you. And you want to walk. You want to go out here. You want to walk out here and know that, listen, in your heart, in your heart, I follow that God the way he told, tells me to through his word. I know I follow in Christ. I know I'm doing the right thing. I'm out here walking with God through his word. It might hurt. God knows your heart. He you know you hurting. But yet it's all, I'm doing what God had me to do. We see somebody hanging on the street. Yeah, they got a roof upon their head. Yes, you go and you have a mouth. 
Have a mouth. Here you go. Here you go. Rule upon your head. If it's for one day, he said, I did what God had me to do out here. I'm talking about, I'm talking about going and helping people out here. I'm just talking, that's what I'm talking about with that. Who put a roof over here? Here you go. Here you go. We, got, we, we got to pay them. Here you go. Right here you go. This is, this is, I'm doing what God had me to do. You know what? And you don't worry about it. You don't worry about saying people, oh, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this for the person. No. You don't have the right, what the left hand or what the right hand is doing. God said, it, he, he would reward you openly. I promise you that. But you do what God have you to do. Okay, well, why keep following people out here who are not following God? Because all that you do is follow them. They, they follow, if you follow them straight to hell. They're not following God. When you follow them straight, they follow this world. You follow them straight to hell. And that's that, once again, that's real talk, too. Okay. Any questions for move on? Ephesians chapter 5, 1 through 8. The Ephesians chapter 5, 1 through 8. I read this as, a, as well. The Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 5, 1 through 8. How to live in the last days. Ephesians chapter 5, 1 through 8. And it reads, Ephesians chapter 5, 1 through 8. Be ye therefore followers of God and dear children. Now how can I follow God if the word was God? How can I follow God? If the word was God, <laughs> I you know. I, well, there's a lot of people say some things out here. I don't. I, I can't even comprehend what, what they saying. I can't understand what they saying because they ain't speaking the word of God. I can't even comprehend. Like I said, the Book of Ephesians. Are you like comprehend what the saints? I can't comprehend what you say, guy. They ain't speaking the word of God. How can I follow God as a dear children if the word was God? Only by his word. Verse 2. And walk in love. And Christ also in love of us and have given himself up for an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smell and savor. You walk in love. Walk in what? The word. You say walk in love. This is love right here. Walk in love. The fruit of the spirit is love. And the word before, the Colossians tells us the word before fruit. A Galatians tells us of the spirit, which is a uh, fruit of spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, uh, a gentleness, a, a, a goodness, a, a meekness, and temperance which is self control. I mean, sorry, faith, a temperance which is self control, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I feel the spirit, you walk in love, right here. You walk in the spirit of truth. Spirit of truth. Hmm. Verse 3. But fornication and all uncleanness and commonness, let it be not once neighbor among you, as we come and say. No fornication, somebody having sex who not buried, and uncleanness and covetous, greedy person, uncleanness and covetous, annoyed, let it not be once neighbor among you, as you become and say. I, we all have sinned and fell short of glory to God. Romans chapter 3, uh, verse 23, we all have sinned. But now, I am a new creature in Christ. I might do things in the past, but now I'm a new creature in Christ. Now I follow Christ now. And I don't walk like that no more. Mm -hmm. I don't walk like that no more. Oh, I come around you now. Oh, man, hey, Terry, man, you know, uh, you want to just go out to a club, which I, 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 don't, I don't hang out. I don't hang out. But when I come with when I work at uh, 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 the uh, job, people, oh, you want to come out? You want to hang out? You want to go out to a club or something like that? Nah. I don't trip off that no more. Uh, verse 4. Neither filthiness nor foolishness, talking nor jesting, that means joking, which are not convenient, but rather giving them thanks. For this ye know that no whoremongle, nor a clean person, nor covetous was greedy, Man who is a, a idolater have any inheritance <coughs> in the kingdom of Christ and God. Hmm. See, you got some people who go to church, they teach you that way. You go to have God love you, go to heaven. They are his, they, they big time sinners. But you still go to heaven. God loves you. You go to heaven. They ain't teaching the gospel at all. I mean, sound 
doctrine, sound teaching of the word of God. Doctrine means teaching of the word of God. They ain't teaching that. They just tell you anything. Okay, we still going to heaven. Still going. <laughs> Give <laughs> boy, I hear some stuff on it. Boy, I hear some stuff out here, but they're not teaching this. Verse 6. Let no let no man deceive you with vain words. Let nobody deceive you. Jesus Christ said it back in the book of Matthew in the Gospels. Be not deceived. Many shall come in my name, say I am the Christ. That shall deceive me. That means teaching his word. Now that man deceive you with vain words. People tell you anything out here. Said no other word of God for yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know that's a I don't know that's that's a simple thing I'm doing or not. But by the truth is in Jesus, I'm in a word that I will know. But if I'm not in a word, how would I know? Amen. You gotta obey the gospel. You gotta obey it. You gotta <laughs> Yeah, we, we, once you obey the gospel, that means you believe. You can read all day, but if you ain't obeying it, then that means you believe. Mm -hmm. And then you wonder why your life ain't changed, why I can't stop doing certain things, because why are you not obeying the gospel? And once you're obeying it, that's a believer in Christ. Mm -hmm. Strictly from the Bible, what I'm teaching. I'm not saying it, but what the Word of God say. I've been through it. I've been through it for years. I said, read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible. It's had Bible study on my house back in the day. But yet, still, you're still doing the same thing. Because why? I'm just reading the Bible. I was not obeying it. <laughs> mm. What's I obeying, I believe. Years ago. And I've been walking with Christ ever since. Once I obey it, like I said, Peter, you obey the truth through the Spirit. You obey it. A Romans tell you, you obey from the heart that form a doctrine that was delivered to you. You obey from the heart. Now you become a what believer in Christ. And now, but you follow in God. Now you follow in Christ by His Word. And now all the dark stuff in this world going on, all the people, the hatred going on, stuff like that, you ain't worried about that. You ain't worried about this world. You ain't worried about that. You follow in Christ. Yes, sometimes you have problems. Yes, some things going to happen in your life. But you follow in Christ, and he's keeping you strong. You stay in prayer. You get up, you go to church. You try to be around other members in Christ who believe in God. And you try. You try. You try. Once again, God knows your heart. Mm -hmm. Faith without works or dead. I'm not doing nothing. Stay. Like I said, the book of James, being alone. Where we at? I believe number seven. Seven? Okay. Yes, right. Let no man see you with vain words because this because of these things come to wrath of God for the children. Of what? Of disobedience. Because you <laughs> Because you disobey that. You out here just keep on saying, do what you want to do. You remember God is going to come upon you. Mm -hmm. You better stand in front of him. Who do you think you're going to? The reverend God is going to come upon you for eternity. Who do you think you're going to go? Come with your judgment day. What? And listen very closely to this. Verse number seven. Mm -hmm. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. You don't hang it with certain people. Be ye not therefore partakers Amen. with them. Because what they do, that's what they do. Pray for them, but that's it. Be not partakers with them. Mm -hmm. If you can't do that, if you can't do that, mm -hmm. you, you don't care about your eternal soul. <laughs> if you, can't, if you don't care about your soul. Cause you're going to die one day. And I promise you, you're going to wish you had listened to what the word of God say. And God... I'm here to tell you right here, and I'm not ashamed. God is 100 percent real. He's shown through His Word that He's 100 percent real. Now, at first, I didn't know and why I was obeying Him. I didn't know God was real. I mean, I believe in God. I, I mean, but I was obeying Him. So how do I believe in Him? Well, why I obey Him? That's why I believe in you. That make any sense? 
See the body? Once I believe in him, mm -hmm. well, I saw, once I saw obeying him, that's why I believe in him. But when I was sitting there and just, just, just reading and wasn't obeying him, then I, I wasn't believing him. So I couldn't tell you if real or not. Because I could see he opened my eyes up to this. When we opened my eyes, when I saw obeying him, then when I saw believing him, he opened my eyes up to his word. Okay. At verse 8. For ye were sometimes darkness, because we all have a sin, and that's darkness. But now you are light in the Lord, how? By the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walk at truly of the light. How? Walk with this. Truly of the light. That's how you carry, carry yourself. You, follow, you walk in this right here. Mm -hmm. This show you every day how to walk, how to live. Because I've been in Matthew chapter 4. And 1 through 4 clearly tells us, Matthew chapter 4, 1 through 4 clearly tells us, G, uh, G. Christ was talking to Satan, and G. Christ told uh, Satan, we supposed to live by every word out the mouth of God. But live by this. Every word out the mouth of God. That's how you're supposed to live. Uh, and close, turn to me to uh, 1 Corinthians. It's backwards. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15. Oh, I can read it. First Corinthians chapter 15, 33 to 34. Then 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 33 to 34. How to live in the last day. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 33 to 34. And it reads. Be not deceived, once again. Evil communication corrupt good manners. It tells us be not deceived. Don't be deceived out here. Oh, that's my best. That, what they call it now? They, they, they still call it BFL. That's my best friend wherever. Right? <laughs> but they, evil communication. Okay, your uh, best friend, whoever. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Yeah, let God be your BFF. Yeah, best friend, man, follow him. I, I like that, sister. So thanks for saying that. Hey, God be your best friend, man, right? Like, best friend, I think what, be, best friend, best friend? BFF, best friend forever. Yeah. That, but God need to be your best friend forever. Yeah, you're right. That way, he the only one got a, a eternal life for you. Yeah. So. No, you're right. You're right about that. I'm just gonna say again, be not deceived. Mm -hmm. Don't be deceived out here. People go go out here and deceive you. I mean, we said be not deceived. I started back in the uh, book of Mark with Jesus, Mark, sorry, Matthew, with Jesus Christ said it all the way through the Bible. It said be not deceived. Mm -hmm. Or be the, or don't be beguiled or, or something like don't be deceived. I mean people yeah. go out here and gonna be deceive you. I mean, people be out here deceiving people, souls. <laughs> if you don't want to listen to what the Word of God say, don't listen to me. Listen to what the Word of God say. Don't listen to me. Listen to what the Word of God say. Obey Him. Stay in the Word of God. That is what saved us. James chapter 1, 19 to 25. That what saved us. The Word what save us. And baptism does now save us, and we get water baptized and stay in the Word. That's believe. That's how we are saved. Water baptism and stay in the Word of God. That's how we are saved. Amen. Verse thirty-four. Awake to righteousness. Awake. Okay, cause right now you are asleep. If you still, in the, if you're in darkness, you are asleep. <laughs> if you still sinning, you are asleep. Awake to righteousness. And said not, but some have not the knowledge of God, and I speak this to their shame. <laughs> How you have the knowledge of God? The word was God. <laughs> the spirit gave you wisdom, the word, and knowledge of the word by the exact same spirit. How you have the word, the knowledge of God, and the word was God. I speak it to the shame because why? Not people don't have because why? They're not following, or actually obeying God what God tells them what to do. And that's why they don't have the knowledge. They don't understand. They can't understand. It's hard for them. Because why? 
Like the book of James says, you wave it and you doubt. The book of James, you wave it and you doubt. You don't, don't think you'll receive anything from the Lord. Obey the truth. And you'll see that you'll have problems in your life. And things will be in your life. And you'll still have hard times. Trust me, this is just life. When you got God, when you got God, you follow the God, that is a good feeling. That is a good feeling. Thank you. That's a good feeling. You follow God. Right when bad him. things happen, good things happen, bad things happen, whatever, no, you follow God. Right. He's going to fix it. He's going to fix it. When you out here doing things, go out here, have people out doing this, doing this, you know, you're doing what God have you to do. That's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. That is a good feeling. Amen. Because you know what? You want the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And you want eternal life. Amen. So I pray, I tell anybody, uh, before we conclude, I tell anybody, stay in the word of God. Grow in the word of God. Depart from people who is not following God. Uh, light don't have fellowship with darkness. Believers don't have fellowship with other believers. You do not follow nobody who's not following God. Yeah. Right, pads all sagging on the hair. I mean, they, they think they're all, I'm drooling out on the hand. They do all that. Cussing, all right? Cussing going out like this. I mean, girl hanging. I, I was uh, uh, one place, dude had a girl hanging way down here. I'm going to get my food, get out of here. <laughs> like, I was like, I, I just can't release all these people out here. You follow people who are following God so they can unlift you. Amen. They, can, they can keep you uplifted. Because you're going to have bad times, you know, right? Bad day. They can keep you uplifted. But if you're not doing that and you ain't trying, trust me, no good, no good, I'll be me. Say, know what he's doing. He, can, he got yourself. Keep on following what you want to do. Straight to hell with him for eternity. <laughs> Satan know what he's doing out here. Trust me. <laughs> some people out here, some people out here, he, he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Stay strong. Why go and pray? Stay strong out here. Never give up on your eternal soul. And stay in the word of God. And obey it. Obey the gospel. Amen. Let's believe it. Mm -hmm. Anybody have a question for me? Hmm? Father God, once again, we'd like to say thank you for your divine and holy word. Thank you, Jesus. We pray, the Lord, that the lesson that we heard today will help us in our everyday lives and our spiritual growth, Father God. We have, we pray, the Lord, that this lesson will stick to our heart and, co and yes. convict us, dear Lord, and convert us and help us to do the right thing, especially when we come to your word. Yes, Lord. Help us understand, dear Lord, we don't obey what you tell us what to do. We will never have eternal life. Yes, we Lord. obey Satan in this world. So help us, dear Lord, to understand that we got to obey you so we become believers, Father God, and obey the gospel. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for everything. And whether, it, once again, bad things happen to us or good things happen to us, Father God, keep us strong in your grace and in your knowledge of your divine holy word, dear Lord. For those out there, for those out there who watch your videos, you know, keep us all strong, Father God. Help us stay strong in these last days that we live in. Help us to keep on fighting for yes, salvation Lord. and righteousness, righteousness in your holy name. Yes. And Father of mercy in all lives, I pray for all these prayers to you in your divine holy name. Yes, Thank you Lord. for everything. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Stay strong, brothers and sisters out there, and God bless.